Good morning, what a wonderful day. The sun is out and we've got another week coming and it's a beautiful Sunday morning. And I just feel so grateful and loved and blessed to be in the family that I'm in. And you know, we're all so different, but so much alike. And you know, and this era right now where we're all able to be who we are and having a, a mindset that we have an inclusive GPS. We don't know where we're going, but we are all validating our feelings and our mindset and our understanding of who each of us are and that we are okay. It's okay to be different. We are different, but we're the same and that we love each other and we care about each other. And it's okay to be asking questions and we feel safe no matter where we are or who we're with. We need to look at we look at how our parents were raised, the mindset of our parents and their generation. And now as a grandmother, I'm looking at how I feel about things and where the, my generation and where my grandchildren's generation, how they feel about things and their lives. You know, years ago, people had to hide how they feel, felt and who they were. We wore masks. We pretended to be somebody else. And I was epileptic. Other people had different problems. You know, they were gay or they were bi or they were, you know, and they hid that for many years because of family, because of being afraid to be who they were. They were afraid of, you know, under, they maybe didn't understand it themselves and they didn't feel safe. And then out of fear, we have accepted the norm and we're not we're not in that space anymore you don't have to be afraid we don't have to be afraid of speaking up we have rights and we have we need to express ourselves we need to be able to speak and say this is who i am i'm okay with who i am and i am going to be this version of me because this is where i need to be i feel safe i am strong i am loved i am protected and I am so precious and you are precious and you get to be who you need to be and who you want to be and so we need to find a balance and we need to empower others and feel empowered ourselves we need to know that it's okay and so inclusive what do you think of as inclusive where do you feel safe? Who do you feel safe around? Why don't you feel safe around some people? Do you feel that you can't express yourself? Do you feel that you're not able to be yourself? I know growing up in a very conservative community, and then when I went out into a different community as a teenager, and again as an adult, even you find yourself that there's all these cliques and you feel like you're not part of a group. And it's not right. It's not right to treat other people or judge people because of their education or their mental. You know, we're all different mentally, physically, spiritually. We're all at a different spot in our lives. And some of us want to change things and other people are happy being where they are. They might feel that they need to be staying safe in their bubble. And we all need to be safe. We need to feel safe. We need to feel loved. We need to be feel, feeling that we're cared for. You know, and being part of a larger group, finding like-minded and being in that group, finding community is really important. You need to find a place that you feel like you belong. We all need to belong. Where do you belong today? Who do you represent yourself with when you're out with a crowd where do you find yourself when you look in the mirror who do you see what do you want in your future where do you see yourself in the next five years are you going to take off that mask are you going to speak your mind are you going to speak your truths are you going to be who you really need to be to be confident strong to be the original self you're you're taking out from all those experiences. I know you've seen other people, how people have treated people that are different, people that are gay, people that are fat, people that are 
maybe not who you think they need to be or other people think they need to be because they don't fit in that perfect little box that society has said that we need to be, right? You know, we feel that. We feel maybe sometimes not smart enough. We feel we're not rich. We feel we're not, you know, I felt all of those things. I felt, you know, judged by being all of those things, by being divorced, by being whatever it is that other people are judging you for or judging me for. You know, we can all get very passionate and loud about things, but we need to have, find a balance. We need to decide and understand who we are. We need to love ourselves for who we are. And until we're feeling safe in our own little space, in our own little bubble, we, how are you going to step outside of that? How do we step outside of that if we're not safe, if we're not confident in our own thoughts about ourselves? If we don't listen to that internal GPS of our own voice, internal voice, how do we do that outside in public? Where are you today? Who are you with? Who are you surrounding yourself with? We need to be in a circle of of people, of environment, that we can find support and love and understanding. And if we're not, then we just have to be strong enough in our own, I know that sometimes a workspace or whatever, right? It's all, it's about the workspace and the, your job and it's about that. And so it's not all personal. We're not all lucky enough to work from home or be, have a, our own businesses or, you know, have to worry about things like that and we worry about first impressions you know and so today wherever you are take care of you love you trust you and I hope that you can listen to that inclusive GPS inside your soul and open up your world and open up your mind and your heart and understand that we need to be true to ourselves first so today Today, trust yourself, love yourself. You know, you can look through the scrapbook of your life and your different versions of yourself. And in five years, you're going to see that too. You're going to be turning the pages and you're going to remember. You're going to say, yes, that's when I decided that I needed to be more real. I needed to open my mind and my heart. I needed to trust myself. Where are you today? What is it that you want that you need to be who you need to be to feel more balanced who is it that you're going to meet in your life who is it that you want to be with that can love you for who you are where you are and that can move with you in your journey who is it that you see when you look in the mirror that you want to be your inclusive heart is opening up to you it's speaking to you your GPS is saying I'm on this road with you I trust you we are going to find a balance we are strong enough we do not have to put on this mask anymore so it doesn't matter what you're going through it doesn't matter if your name is Sarah or if it's Liam or if it's Aaron or if it's Susan or if it's Kalina it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your gender. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't matter your weight. It doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank account. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you love yourself, that you surround yourself with like-minded, that you are loved, that you know that you're okay, that you're safe that you are finding the right balance. Take care of you today. Love you. This is Kalina. Listen to your internal G GPS. We all shine brighter together. Follow me, like me. Enjoy and share. Join our community on Facebook. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Take care of you. Good morning. What a wonderful day. The sun is out.